All right, we got Tyler here, freshman Yo. student, and he just bought a motorcycle he's pretty excited about. And what we did for practice today was just took a look at a bike that he just bought and inspected it, right? Yep. Tried to see what things maybe would we want to fix or what things uh, maybe that uh, don't need any attention at all. And we noticed it had new tires on it, and as we were going around looking at the bike, we found some major problems though. So come over here. First off, we really don't like nails for cotter keys. So this drew some attention there. You guys saw how I like to grab a bike and I just start pulling on things and trying to see if anything's loose or whatnot. So I get down here, see that this, uh, not only is it a nail, but it also isn't in there very good, right? So with that, the brake caliper and everything was on, but we're gonna just demonstrate something that's kind of scary here. Cause Tyler, you rode this bike here, right? Yep, from, from Sergeant Bluff. Okay, how'd it ride? It rode pretty good, but it had a little like wiggle, just a little slight wiggle. But... Oh, okay. So it had a little shimmy or whatnot? Yeah, so not too much. The thing I like to do is take a look at this and right away we need to know fasteners, right? And when you have a castle nut and you're supposed to put a cotter key through there, I mean, they should line up so that the cotter key can actually stop that from coming loose. You got to know fasteners, right? Yep. So somebody put this together, didn't really understand the fastener so much, right? Mm -hmm. And we know it's new tires, so we're wondering, well, who put this together? The other thing we noticed is I could take this and I can wiggle on this. And can you get close right there? And I can actually get a gap. That's not torqued. How in the world can this be so tight but I spin that spacer. You're out of threads. All sort. Exactly, we're out of threads, right? The other thing that we have is I can move this speedo, okay? And what we know about wheels is this speedo acts as a spacer. That's part of that whole assembly. And that when you torque this axle down, you should never be able to wiggle this. So we've got all these problems. So let's move to the other side of the bike. And you'll see here, we even got a manual out, whatnot. Well, as soon as we got over here, now we start to see some other stuff that's pretty bothersome. The first thing I see is that hole. So Xavier, what do you learn from training about that hole? Um, well, they don't do it for like no reason. And uh, right here, we only got it like halfway exposed and it's supposed to be like completely exposed. So right there, I can identify that's already like a big problem. Yeah, something's not right, yeah. right? You just get that feeling like that. Now, do you remember how we talked about the majority of these? Sometimes you even put a drill bit through there, like Harley's, and that's an actual guide that says put the edge of that over here. Mm -hmm. So by seeing that being sucked in, isn't that explaining why we have all these extra threads over here? Or the threads are sticking out too far, not allowing us to stop, and the nut runs out of threads. But now you look in here, and I can see kind of some fresh grease, and there's where the problem really is. We're missing a spacer. Okay, so somebody just did a tire change. Now watch this here. I'll go ahead and uh, move that around. You can see how much, look at that back and forth. Do you think that was his wiggle? Yep. Okay, now that's with one of the brake rotors off. So it actually was sitting in there a little bit stiffer or whatnot, but man, how in the world could you be missing a spacer? Real world, let's get real. Yeah, so the customer, we talked to him, carried these into the bike shop. So if you pull that axle out and that falls down and you're not paying attention to it, what about people that are doing this in their driveway or something and it rolls away? Or if they left it in there and then went to the dealer and it fell out on the tire machine or transportation, the, the average person doesn't necessarily know they're missing parts. So go behind and Keegan, what'd you find on the parts fish there? On the Now the other thing I want you guys to think about, just knowing this, is that spacer would butt up against this and allow this to stick out and just our whole assembly would then be appropriate. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. The other thing is, like a lot of times what you'll do is you'll unclamp these and allow that front end to float or settle on the axle and everything has to line up and be the way it's supposed to be. So if you don't understand fasteners, you're going to get into trouble. When we went ahead and started to kind of play around with this, we found another problem. You guys haven't seen this yet. So these are the brake caliper bolts. See anything missing? 
one of them's missing a washer? Yeah, you know, so we have three that have a washer and one that doesn't. So remember that carb I showed you today where a bracket took up the space of a washer? There's something, either there's a washer missing or there used to be, sometimes what you'll find is like a speedo cable bracket that will, um, you know, route the speedo cable so it doesn't come in contact with the tire. But uh, we got parts missing. We want to go ahead and uh, make this safe. But buddy, you are lucky. Yes, I am. You're lucky. But that's your tip of the day from Western Iowa Tech students here. Tyler, thank you for letting us use your motorcycle. If you're looking for a college to uh, sign up, come see us. Come get a hold of us. All right, talk to you guys later. Keep wrenching.